thank you all and God bless all of them, all of you, each one of you. This is one of the events that I feel good that we all pulling together and pushing for a cause that we've been fighting for over a year, day by day. Podemos decir que estamos aquí por una causa, que estamos aquí por nuestros trabajos, que estamos aquí porque nos están quitando nuestra vida, nos están poniendo en las líneas de comida que no queremos estar. Our people don't want to be in the full line. They want to be in the line for work. I have spent, I have spent 23 years of my life recruiting farm workers to work, work in a farm. And for the last two years, I have been to spend hours and hours recruiting friends and people and farm workers and business people and farmers and all the other industries to pull together and scream and say, enough is enough, no more. We need to turn the pumps on now. We want to work. We want to work fair. We don't want welfare. We want work fair. We've been, uh, we've been having people, the Secretary of Agriculture, the Secretary of Interior, come into our valley and promise a lot of things. When we end up in a place like the Central Valley with 0% allocation of water, and they're blaming the pumps, when the reality is all the sewage they're dumping into the Delta, that's what is killing the fish. These people know. These people know that that's what is killing the fish. Now the pumps are pumping the water. They're they feeding a lot of people. They're feeding all of us. That's not what is killing the fish. They need to quit blaming the farmers for everything and they need to go back in their office and do their job. That's what they're getting paid for. We need an answer. We're not going to stop. We die before they stop us. They want to get us arrested. Go ahead, do it. They want to do an investigation. George Spiller, we were in his office. And he said he's doing an investigation. Come on, we're waiting for you. We're not going to quit. You're not going to scare us. We're going to keep going into when we die or when we go back to work. That's what we want to do. A few brief remarks that I want to make before you here today. So for those of you who know this water issue, you know how serious it is to the state. Uh, but for those of you who are here to stop the spending, to stop this government from doing a lot of bad things to you, I want to call attention on an important issue that's taking place. In the San Joaquin Valley, the water's been shut off. We have 40,000 people that are now out of work. We have people that now are sleeping in their flower beds during the middle of the day because they can't afford to turn their air conditioner on. Who's doing this? It's the government doing it to these people. My constituents, your friends and neighbors right here in California. Now there's another example of, of someone that does this. A guy by the name of Robert Mugabe. The dictator of Zimbabwe. He starves his own people of water. We're not enemies of the state, folks. We're not enemies of the state. This is a democracy. Turn the water on. Today's environmentalists is hostile to the American dream, a dream that still resonates around the world. To the radical environmentalist, it's a dream that they want destroyed, and on top of it, they want to build this phony green utopia. That's right. We want these tractors and these trucks that are out here to go back to work, and the people that are want to go back to work to go back to work. They drape themselves in these green causes, but make no mistake. These radical, to these radicals, it's not about clean air and clean water or protection of our environment. It's not for these endangered species that they're for. It's the tools that they use to keep and take control of this government. But with your help, we're going to hold these radicals responsible. The ones that have caused these forest fires in this state. The ones that have ruined the timber industry in this state. The ones that have ruined the farming industry in this state. The ones that have held this country hostage to the foreign dictator's oil, we're going to hold them accountable for this. 
Today's environmentalist is yesterday's communist, folks. That's what this is about. We're not going to let them ration our water, kill our lawns, destroy our farms, and dry up our communities. We're going to hold politicians accountable, not by what they say, but by what they do and how they vote in this building and all the way in Washington, D.C. And I want to send a message to the President of the United States. The people of my district don't want your welfare. We want you to turn this water on, turn these pumps on. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Many farms, small and large, ranches and dairies populated the area. I can always remember hundreds of farm workers coming in to cash their payroll checks weekly. Those days are gone. Now many of our farm workers are struggling endlessly for work as our crops diminish and our farmland sets fallow. My husband is a third generation farmer and has been farming for nearly 30 years with his family. In March of 1992, my husband, his son, and nephew stood right here protesting water that was being taken away from the west side. They were joined with over a thousand farmers, farm workers, and their families. Two thirds of the crowd consisted of farm workers and their children, most of them carrying the signs that read in English and in Spanish, save my job. People are an endangered species and I don't want welfare. One of the speeches by a West Side student said, the government doesn't understand that the water cutoff will affect people. It'll mean that my father won't have a job. Sad to think 17 years later, we are still faced with the same issue and the government just doesn't get it. Yeah. As our first lady, Michelle Obama, address the UC Merced College graduates, we need to get our nation back on the path for every child to achieve. I ask myself, how will our children and grandchildren achieve their dreams in the Central Valley without water? It is a mainstay of life here. In closing, I urge each of you to contact the president your senators, congressmen, and any other elected officials to voice your concerns. A solution, a fast one, short and long term, has to be developed. Our families, our body, and our farmland cannot survive without water. Thank you. But they try to cover us, you know, so we'll try to shut up, but we're not going to shut Right? That's why we're here today with even more crowd, you know, to tell them, you know what, we need that water for all. Turn on the pump! You know, we need to get those pumps turned off at max capacity. You know, yes, it's good that you guys are working on a long term resolution for this, but you know what, there's day, day by day, each hour, there are people that are crying that they cannot provide for their family. That's today, that's, that's, that's what's going on right now. There's people probably sitting at home right now that wanted to come up here, they didn't even have gas money to come up here. You know, to let these people know that, you know, we need something here today. Yeah! yeah. So we gotta let them know that today is when we need something. It's time to get to work. That's right. It's time to put some action into this and make a resolution. It's time to put a solution to this problem. My country! I love my country! You love it too!